Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to uh, the Cooklin' Channel. I'm David. Uh, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, a group of my work friends were uh, hanging out the other day at uh, lunchtime, you know, just kicking it, and um, we decided, uh, you know, let's have a little potluck, a little post-holiday potluck, and um, it just came up on me all of a sudden. I forgot about it for a little bit, and then um, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it popped up. It's like, oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, wow. So, uh, kind of caught it the last minute, not really thinking about it, not really planning. And then um, I said, okay, um, I think of something. Uh, I think I know there's something that I wanted to get off, of, you know, something I wanted to try. So, I wanted to do um, lemon pepper chicken, lemon pepper chicken wings. And um, so, you know, I got some stuff to do that. And then I also wanted to do a little bit of a, vegetarian or a vegan offering because we had a couple of vegetarians, a couple of vegans in the group or whatever. So, you know, I wanted them to, to not be left out of, you know, something that I wanted to offer. So, um, so I came up with a vegetarian um, alternative or another a vegetarian dish, I should say, not an alternative. And uh, here we go. It's going to be lemon pepper chicken and uh, you'll find out about the vegetarian. So here we go. Uh, We're going to start off with so a little much. salt. And some freshly cracked black pepper. Add another pepper to the mix. This is some white pepper. So I'm going a little bit ham on the pepper today because I want to uh, emphasize the pepper in the lemon pepper chicken. So cayenne pepper gets added to the mix. And, and some crushed red pepper. And the last of the pepper is a little bit of chili uh, chili powder. So we went a little bit hard with the pepper uh, to make it a nice spicy blend. Gonna add some Laurie seasoned salt just for another little flavor. That goes really nicely with wings. And uh, a little garlic never hurt anybody. Just a tad, just a tad. So we got a nice little seasoning blend here. Here's our washed chicken wings. I'm just gonna go with a little bit of soy sauce uh, and our uh, spice blend. So soy sauce is gonna add a little depth of flavor, a little umami as they say. So not too much because we have seasoning to go. So just some that'll uh, give us some a base of flavor and then it'll help the uh, seasoning to stick a little bit better. So we season it from up high, as you know, so we can get good coverage. Good coverage is is uh, is is uh, important for when you're seasoning. You don't want to get those little spots of concentrated seasoning too much. And I'm gonna add now uh, some lemon juice. This is lemon pepper chicken. So we got a lemon to start with, nice juicy one, and we took the zest off of the lemon. Uh, for the lemon pepper seasoning. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So this is just the juice of a lemon. Try to get as much of the juice out as possible. And this, uh, we're going to let this set up to marinate uh, while we get the rest of the stuff prepared. But uh, that's pretty much it. Get that juice right on there. And moving on to the next part. This is the lemon pepper seasoning. I decided to make a vegetarian option with this thing too. So what am I gonna do? Sit there racking my brain. What can I bring, what can I bring, what can I bring? And then bam, hit me like a bolt of lightning. You know how you make uh, buffalo wings and the vegetarian or vegan option for buffalo wings is what? Buffalo cauliflower. So I'm gonna try to mimic the recipe of the lemon pepper chicken Lemon pepper cauliflower. You heard it first time. Here's right how we're going to break down this cauliflower. We're going to butcher it. We're going to cut off that heel. That's that little oxidized piece right at the end. That's not doing nobody no good. We're going to cut that right off. we got a nice clean start. So what you're going to do is take off all of the leaves here. We're going to use all of these leaves. They're delicious when you cook them in the oven, when you roast them in the oven alongside with the uh, cauliflower. So just... 
Cut them all off. Go work your way around. Cut them all off. You pick them. You take a look at them. You make sure that they're, uh, they're looking healthy. Put them to the side. We're going to wash those, and then we're going to bring those back in. We're going we're gonna to cook everything. We're going to start, uh, finish taking off the leaves, and then we're going to separate our uh, florets from the, uh, from the cauliflower stem. And we're also going to butcher the stem. And here's the high speed. Uh, there's a couple of cauliflowers, so move, move, move. There's the stems. So we washed all of this. We picked through it for any of the old ugly ones. And we're going to just put that right alongside with the cauliflower once it's washed. And we're just going to eat every bit of it. All right, so this is a nice large rimmed bacon sheet. We're going to spread this out so that everybody gets a little bit of uh, room to breathe. So that's all of the cauliflower, the leaves. This, here comes the leaves that are washed and picked for any uh, little funny ones or whatever like that. The stems, everything is in there. Everything is, is delicious and tasty. going to spread all of this out and season it up for the 450-degree uh, uh, oven. Here comes the olive oil. Uh, cauliflower tends to drink up olive oil, kind of like a sponge. So we're going to apply a liberal amount of olive oil to that. Plus, it's going to be in the oven for a while. That'll uh, lend some moisture and uh, keep it kind of from sticking to the bottom as much. So a good generous amount of olive oil to start with. And um, we're going to add our lemon pepper seasoning for the first, the first pass of lemon pepper seasoning, I should say, because we'll do that a couple of times um, now and then later on while it's hot when it comes out of the oven. And uh, get all of it, you know, use your hands, get all of it. We're gonna put uh, one of our, a uh, half of a uh, lemon, the juice. Actually, we're gonna do one whole lemon. Here's one half. We're gonna start with that. All around, spread it, squeeze it, spread it around. Make sure everybody gets a little bit of that love. Switching to lemon number two. And here it goes. I say here it goes. Lemon number two. We're gonna get it nice and lemony up in here. So give it a nice squeeze and get everybody covered. It's gonna soak in and uh, it's gonna intensify in the oven that uh, nice lemony flavor. So for the last, we're gonna add our original spice blend. We're just gonna season that up because remember we're using the same flavors as we use for the chicken. So it's going to uh, take on the same uh, the same taste, all right? So we get that all seasoned up, and then once it's ready, it goes right in the oven. The part that you missed, because I really wasn't going to record today, was the creation of the lemon pepper seasoning. This is homemade lemon pepper seasoning. I, um, I didn't want to opt for the jar thing because... It's really not my thing sometimes. I wanted to see if I can create something. So I looked up a quick recipe online. Yes, I look things up online. I don't just make everything up in my head. Um, so I found a uh, recipe on how to make a homemade lemon pepper seasoning. And really what it is, some lemon zest. There's lemon zest, uh, the zest of five lemons. It takes a while to zest it off with a microplane. Um, a micro what? What is that? Some sort of a small aircraft? Or uh, uh, what? What does that even have to do with cooking? This is a microplane. Uh, it has very small or micro uh, little blades that uh, you use to uh, grate or zest uh, cheeses, citrus, uh, ginger, anything that needs that type of grating. Um, you know, you have a grater. We don't call this a macro plane, but um, it has different size holes. And these are much more uh, finer. So I guess that's why they call this a micro plane. A micro plane, um, some freshly cracked pepper, and some salt. And you just lay that out on a baking sheet and leave it in your oven at its lowest setting, maybe 150 to 170 degrees, maybe your, your oven goes that low. It's about 170, 175 degrees for about an hour until it's uh, the lemon uh, 
zest is completely dried out. It's been in there for an hour, so I'm gonna check it. Even though my oven is kind of crazy these days, I think it's about ready. Here we go. There it is. Um, it's dry, it's brittle, and it's uh, it smells amazing. Very lemony, very peppery. And we're gonna use this um, on our wings. So I'm done with this lemon pepper seasoning and it's fresh. It feels really cool. It's all brittle because the lemon zest went in like, you know, moist and sticky. It's all brittle now and flaky and it smells so good. Give it a little taste. Well, that's going to taste amazing on this chicken. Taste your seasoning, people. You can taste anything that you have in your cabinet. I mean, it's not going to kill you. It may be a little spicy, maybe a little salty or something like that. But taste your seasonings. That way you know what they taste like before you just pl plop them down on stuff. Ooh, that's nice and spicy. That's going to give you all a little kick tomorrow at work. That pepper. Let's kick it. This is pepper flipping it around. It's really pepper lemon chicken. So, or pepper's lemon. Because I got a little variety of pepper in there. I'm going to bring a little bit of heat to the party. So I'm going to use this to uh, season both the uh, cauliflower and the chicken. I'm gonna pop them in the same uh, temperature oven and just let them go and we'll see what happens. I got all the chicken arranged like in a single layer. Uh, spread it out so that the heat distributes evenly in there. And then that um, when it's time, you can flip them. You don't have to worry about one being on the side or too crowded or something like that. They're also gonna shrink up a little bit as they cook. So it'll make it easier on that flip to really identify which one is at which stage of cooking and everything like that. So I'm just gonna give this a nice sprinkle with that lemon pepper seasoning, that homemade lemon pepper seasoning. Give it a generous coating before it goes into the oven. And we'll see what to make of it a little bit later. I'm gonna reserve some for when it's done cooking. just as a topping, a uh, little dry seasoning on top. I think we're gonna need a little sauce because it's a dry wing. Uh, it's gonna be uh, cooked on high heat, try to make it crispy and everything like that. Then it'll be, you know, just dry. It's not a soupy type of recipe. So I'm gonna have a little sauce. And since it's gonna be a pepper lemon chicken, it'll have a little bit of heat to it. So I wanna have something uh, that'll uh, bring a little bit of cool. And it's also gonna be reminiscent with that lemon flavor. I'm, I'm making this one up on the fly. So We're going to kick this off with a little bit of um, low-fat Greek yogurt. A couple spoons of that as our uh, starting base. The, the cooling uh, effect of the yogurt will be nice on the, on the palate. It's going to pick up the flavors of the lemon very nicely. We're going to hit this with a little bit of uh, a little bit more lemon juice. We're going to uh, continue with the... Uh, lemon pepper theme here. This will um, make it nice and uh, tangy. It's a little sweet with that, uh, that lemon citrus. Hit it with some of our lemon pepper seasoning. Just like to repeat some of the flavors that you, um, that you cook with, you know, throughout. And this is the rest of the, uh, the lemon zest, the fresh lemon zest that hadn't been uh, put in the oven. Nice and tangy. Nice and uh, assiduous for our uh, our sauce. And then you give that a little blend, a little whisking. Whisk away, get those flavors combined. So I'm going to add here is uh, ranch. What's better with uh, some wings, some nice uh, ranch dressing? So we're going to make this uh, a round of ranch, uh, that type of flavor. It's tangy. It's a very zesty, very lively uh, flavor in that ranch dressing. And uh, to make the ranch, you know, normally you use some mayonnaise. So that's going to give us another uh, depth of flavor. It's going to loosen this uh, sauce up a little bit and give it a little bit of sweetness. Not too much. Uh, just about a good large tablespoon of that mayonnaise. And you want to give this a good uh, a good whisk to combine it because you have the ranch, you know, it's in like a a powder form. So you want to distribute that evenly throughout the uh, the entire thing. 
you don't want any clumps and lumps in there of uh, of seasoning. Give it a little bit of taste. Always taste your stuff as you go along. Now, that was very ranch forward. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do to temper this down a little bit? It's going to need some more yogurt. You know, taste as you go along. I'm trying to figure out which spoon. That's the right spoon, right? Yep, yep, that's the clean one. Uh, taste as you go along so that, you know, you, you're not... Uh, you're not lost and you don't get to the end of doing something that you don't know, you know, how you got there. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil here to emulsify this a little bit. It's going to add another uh, mild flavor, t temper down that uh, that ranch and also loosen it up a little bit because I want to uh, serve this like in a squeeze bottle. So I don't want to re-add water or something like that to water it down. So I just made it uh, get it a little bit looser. Now, this is some apple cider vinegar, which is going to add some more acidity to this. Uh, loosen up the the mix a little bit and also add a little bit of um, it's, vinegar is a funny thing because it has the, a sweetness to it although it's a very like sour type thing it does have a certain sweetness uh, in its character so we uh, whisk this away and get all these flavors combined swapping spoons out now always uh, taste with a fresh spoon you don't want to double dip while you're cooking your food and I think that's a winner. Put it down, smacking away. Yep, that's good to go. Good to go. I think we're ready to take the cauliflower out. I turned it a couple times, and it looks really good right now. I'm gonna take that out. Let's show you how it looks. Ooh, hot. Right, steam. This looks really good. I'm ready to come out and take it out. Nice brown, crispy edges. This is gonna be a nice thing to eat. Hold on. Let's see. I transferred the chicken to a rack so I could get it dried out a little bit. I don't want it to be too moist. So that's looking golden and getting crispy. I'm gonna leave it in there for another few minutes and let the skin get a little bit more crispy. And then we're gonna be done. Watch this. So, you can see the steam rising off of this thing. So while it's steaming, let me taste a piece. Oh, my fingers in the way. So while this is hot out of the kitchen, hot out of the oven, we're gonna taste a little piece and see how that. That's nice. But I'm not getting enough lemon taste. So you know what I'm gonna do? Check it out. What I'm gonna do is hit this with a little bit more lemon juice. Let it absorb all that lemon flavor. It wasn't tasting very lemony when it came out. So while it's hot and steamy, hit it with some of this extra lemon juice and let it absorb some of that flavor. It's got the pepper. It's definitely got the pepper, but now it's got a little bit more lemon. Now let me show you these pieces that I told you are so delicious. The stems and the stalks, uh, here's a piece of the stalk from the inside. They get crispies, like some of them is like chips in here. Nice, they've been up in the bottom of the pan. Mm. Those are really good, nice and crispy. A very nice flavor. If you haven't roasted your cauliflower like this, everything. Anything that's not oxidized, dirty, except except for that little heel on the bottom, that's all oxidized. Any leaves and stems that's a little dirty or oxidized or holy or whatever like that, you can get rid of that. But for the most part, all of those leaves, all of those stems, very nutritious, very delicious. You get it in that oven. And I said that magical temperature, 4, 425, 450 if you're in a rush, get it in the oven until it's golden brown and delicious. And you will not regret it. Trust me when I tell you. Okay, chicken is ready to depart from the oven. Check that out. Golden brown and delicious GBD. I'm impatient. I'm a little greedy too. So guess what I'm gonna do? I have to take a little sample. I have to make sure it's right for my coworkers. You know what I'm saying? I can't give them stuff that's not good. So I gotta taste it for myself just to see. You know what I'm saying? Taste test just to make sure it's right for them. For them. So, uh, 
Hello, sir. He was like a nice, juicy fellow. All right. And, all right, sir. Jump up on this plate. So like I said, I'm gonna carry some of this seasoning with me tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a little, a little tiny pinch. I'm just gonna drop it on top of there. Uh, I did not forget about my little uh, dipping sauce. This will help us cool down some of that pepper, some of that heat. Hang on a second. Okay. This is the moment of truth. Still a little bit hot. Uh, I'm gonna dip it. Let me get it up here. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce a little bit. Oh, this joint is hot, fresh out the oven. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Right off the bat, I get that lemon from that squeeze, that extra squeeze. It's right up front, very lemony, very citrusy floral. And in the back here, the pepper and the heat starts to build. Mm. It's a nice bite of pepper. The, uh, my ranch uh, aioli, I don't know what you want to call it. It's nice, it's helping to cool it down a little bit. It's tangy, it complements this very good. Uh, I think this one is an overall success. Potluck is in, is in luck tomorrow. And cauliflower. Pepper lemon chicken from the cooking channel.